Inflammation. Most people's idea of it is based on utter misconceptions. After this video, you'll know what inflammations are, where they come from, how to treat them, and how to avoid them. I'm Roland Liebscher-Bracht, and I'm going to tell you how to very easily put an end to most inflammations in your body. This video will also explain how to get rid of Achilles tendinitis, in most cases within a day, representing all other possible inflammation. For most people, inflammations are something bad, something you have to stop, something that's not good, it has to be gotten rid of. But that's exactly the misconception I'm talking about. Looking at the definition of inflammation, a medical one, you'll learn that an inflammation is a measure to maintain the integrity, the health of your body, or even restore it. In other words, an inflammation is repair work. Carpal tunnel syndrome, Achilles tendinitis, tendinitis in your joints. It means there is repair work going on. A construction site is being set up, messenger substances are being exchanged, waste material, old cell material that is, is being transported off, new things are developing, there's repair, renovation, and restoration work being done. Often, you suffer from chronic inflammation. What does chronic mean? It means that your body is not able to complete a repair job. And often, it is not investigated why the repair work has not been finished, but the process is stopped using medication and other means. And since you're probably rubbing your eyes now, wondering what I'm talking about, let me give you an example. Achilles tendonitis, it hurts. Your Achilles tendon is swollen, painful to touch, even chronically inflamed for months. Maybe years you've been troubled by it. And what happens for treatment? They give you cortisone. Now, cortisone improves things, but from a certain point, the problem returns because repairs should never be stopped. Let's think together how this situation has come about. Your muscles are too tense in your calf. Your tendon is being pulled excessively. Then you may go for a run risking sudden additional stress on your Achilles tendon. And very small tears might happen again. And these very small tears, fatigue tears, stress tears, they need repair. The tendons swell up, they retain fluids, and the repair process begins. But you keep on running. The stress doesn't stop. You keep doing what you've been doing, how is your body supposed to finish the repair if these small injuries, tears, come at it again? Sorry, but you have to say goodbye to the idea that chronic tendonitis is the same as chronic pain, for example. There is, as we see it, no such thing as chronic pain. We define chronic pain as pain that has not been treated correctly for a long time and therefore remains. And chronic inflammations are, in our definition, repair processes that are ongoing, but that always have to start anew because of continued injury. Because the real root cause of Achilles tendonitis, the excessive tensile pull, has not been removed. Now, it's impossible to run through all the inflammations in your body or your musculoskeletal system in this video in one go, but the principle holds. And although we're talking about inflammations of the musculoskeletal system, you might as well include all the other inflammations. Take bacterial inflammation, for example. That's when bacteria invade your body and your body wants to fight them, destroy them. And that is included as well. And in this case, I'm not against administering medication or trying something else, but here it has a different purpose. 
it clears away the pathogen. But with Achilles tendonitis, where is the pathogen? It's not the inflammation messenger substance that initiates the repair. That's not the enemy that needs to be destroyed. No, the unknown enemy is excessive tension. And that's why you have to separate these two things. I believe that it's super important that everybody learns about these facts. And that's why I'd like to get you on board. Share this video, in particular, especially our educational videos, so that people understand how their bodies work. And they start treating them differently, in a natural way. And I want to use Achilles tendonitis to let you in on the secret of how to get rid of the pain within a day. You have to know one thing. With a swollen tendon, really swollen up, it's not the inflammation that hurts. The repair process doesn't hurt. What hurts is the tension in there. And before you go, what is he going on about again? It's rubbish. To try is better than to not try. So don't believe me or other experts. Just try it out for yourself. Your body never lies to you. And it's going to tell you exactly how it feels. And you could feel it too. My tip, stretch your calf. I'll show you an exercise later. You do this exercise for your calf muscle and foot lifting muscles. And I bet you that if you do this exercise after only one exercise session, you'll feel that the pain in your tendon is less severe. It's still swollen, mind you, since the repair is still going on even if differently now, after the stretch, because if you do these exercises regularly, you'll make sure that these micro-injuries do not happen again and that the repairs can be completed. So this chronic situation is ended in a natural way. And that means you do the exercise, reduce the tension, and right after the exercise with reduced tension, you'll notice how your inflamed Achilles tendon hurts less. And so that you could start right away and check if the things I told you are correct or not. And please drop us a comment, let us know. Click up here for all the relevant exercises. And clicking down here takes you to some of our other videos. Well, you'll find tips for exercises to help you reduce pain from head to toe. See you soon.